And we almost have like a goal line set up here. As you can see, there's just nothing. There's no lanes. But you can see the pressure makes it worth it as he gets right through and gets another sack. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. What? What? Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snow the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new defense for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over what has probably become my favorite run defense. It's an absolute shutdown run defense. It's also a very good blitz as well. Now, I'm in my Dolphins slash Giants ebook one more time, and the formation that I'm going to be using today is going to be the 4-3 even 6-1. Now, the even 6-1 has been one of my favorite formations probably since Madden 21, which I think was the first year that they put it into the game. Lately, it's become a pro favorite. Pro players are using this formation a lot more. They still don't use the setup that I use and I still feel like I'm ahead of them on the setup because to me, this setup is superior. But the play itself, I'm going to show you guys, and you can tell by the amount of times I've run it, the play itself is the cover four quarters. Now, there's something you can do to make this play even better in your coaching adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up, and that's going to be setting your flats to zero. Now, you're not going to mess with your curl flats. You're going to leave that to default. Uh, the flats is basically going to be your hard flats, your cloud flats, uh, soft squats, as you can see, it's right, right there. Uh, this is basically going to be only if you essentially want to kick your run commit game up a notch because this comes out default with curl flats. So if you want to run it as a pass defense, you don't have to make this adjustment and you'll have your normal flats playing normally. But if you think they're going to run, you can hard flat right away and have a lot of success with that. Now, there's a couple of different plays that you can use with the exact same setup. I'll go over that later in the video. But for now, let's go and let's pick the cover four quarters. On the offensive side, I'm just going to go over the concept and I'm going to go random run. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOH.com. If you guys want to get your money team up and help support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below. Just discount code MONEY when you buy any of their products. They don't just sell Madden products. They sell products from just about every video game you can think of. So if you're playing any other games, check them out. NBA 2K, FIFA, Rocket League, anything like that. Check them out. Link in the description below. Just discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest product. Now, right off the bat, you can see we have a huge hole right up the center here. That's something that we're going to close up in a minute. But the first thing we're going to do is our coverage adjustments. We're going to go ahead and hit Y or Triangle, whether you're an Xbox or PlayStation, and bring up your coverage adjustments. And we're going to make some very simple adjustments where we're going to base align, then we're going to show blitz, and we're going to base align again. Doing that's very simple. You have to hit wire triangle each time before you put that in. But wire triangle, then you're going to hit right on the left stick, then wire triangle left on the left stick, wire triangle right on the left stick one more time. The reason for that's simple. If you do this setup, you'll notice the safeties walk down pretty much lower than the cornerbacks. Not by a huge margin, but they come down lower than the cornerbacks, which is what I want. The safeties are really going to be the MVP of this play. They're essentially going to create a nine-man box and a nine-man run commit anytime you have a run play as long as you don't guess pass i've said this in previous videos if you don't guess pass in a cover four the safeties will play the run first and that really is what makes this a good play so we're gonna have a nine man box nine man run commit the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to pinch up this defensive line because the hole here is obviously going to get run right through so to pinch defensive line all i really have to do is hit the d pad to the left and down on the left stick to pinch I also like to slant them outside, which is D-pad to the left and up on the left stick. Sometimes I even go as far as the QB contain, which will be essentially hitting the RB button twice uh, to basically make sure that they maintain that edge. But this is where, to maintain the edge, this is where I said that the, uh, the hard flats where the coaching adjustments comes into play. So if I think I'm gonna get a run play, all I have to do is hit wire triangle one more time, down on the right stick, and boom, we got hard flats. So now these guys will play straight to the edge to basically stop any outside runs at the zero mark. And then we also have these safeties coming in right up the middle to fill these holes. So this is a very good run defense. Like I said, it's essentially like a nine man run commit without actually run committing. And then your cornerbacks are not down the box. If I didn't do that second uh, baseline line, they would be down right here to a point where they could probably get burnt by pass plays. So they're gonna drop back, but everybody else is gonna come forward. The last step I really wanna do is blitz my user so I have a little bit more user control because I think that still is one of those uh, types of glitches. We're gonna have an inside run here right off the bat. And you can 
to see how, you know, that was something that uh, I pretty much sniffed out. I really didn't get the benefit of showing what the safeties do. I'll go on another game, but I'll show you guys how fast this setup is. It's really not that hard if you're used to it. You can see right there, I'm already in the setup. If I have extra time, like I said, bringing these safeties in is important. Bringing this linebacker in uh, is helpful. But ultimately, these are all things that, you know, are, are not 100% necessary for this defense to be effective. You can see inside run lanes are pretty much bought up by this four-man uh, front. Outside run lanes will be bought, are we bottled up by the safeties and the hard flats. Now, if you go to the replay, you can see, like I was saying, these safeties, they walk straight forward. If you look at both of them, the one on the right side immediately starts running in, almost like he's run committing to the play. And the one on the other side, he's just a little bit further back. That's why, to me, it's better to have these guys low into the box like that. You can see this safety is a couple yards closer to the line of scrimmage than this safety, and that's why his reaction pays more dividends, although ultimately this safety runs right down and makes the play. Now, there are some caveats to this play, which I'll get to in a minute. Some things like how this coverage works is not necessarily the best coverage when it comes to pass defense. But, you know, this is this is something where I typically want to use if I know my opponent's going to run. Going to run this one more time. We almost have like a goal line set up here. As you can see, there's just nothing. There's no lanes. You know, you can't power through this. There's no openings uh, along the line on this defense. So that's pretty much it for the run defense. I'm going to show you guys a really good uh, pass defense. Uh, number one, this isn't a very good pass defense, first of all. I'm not going to suggest calling a cover four when it comes to passing but you do have a really good blitz and the setup is going to be exactly the same i'm going to basically do the exact same setup bring this guy in only this time i'm going to blitz all my linebackers so if i hit the d-pad to the right and down i'm going to blitz all my linebackers at this point i'm going to want to guess pass and the reason for that is simple i don't want these outside edge rushers biting on any um on any play actions after this i can really use her at any guy i want i can use in the middle linebacker or i can use her this guy here it doesn't really matter it's going to have success either way uh, but basically this is going to be the play so like i said i'm just gonna if i'm using this guy i'm going to come down to the into the center gap and then drop back if i'm using this guy i'm just going to basically bring him in and then drop back the same way so this is pretty much going to be the play you can see how we do get pressure right up the gut and we do get pretty good pass defense although ultimately this is something that if you give your opponent more time they will pick apart now while i do really like this defense it does have its shortcomings it's something that doesn't cover a lot of routes deep very well. I typically like to only run this defense uh, when there's not really a deep option. Like inside the red zone, it's my go-to defense. From this distance, this play is a very shutdown pass defense because there's no deep routes. It's a very good mid to short pass defense. Now, as far as the blitz goes, you can you do that from any play in this formation. I would say the best pass defense would probably be the Sam Blitz 3. I use this blitz a lot out of cover 2, but I already put that out, so I'll leave a link in the description for that. But if you're going to do this setup i mean you could do it the exact same way uh so that it looks like that cover four and then you might catch your opponent off guard i would say cheat this safety back a little bit though i don't want him getting beat by anything necessarily but you'll see also i'm gonna have a lot of user responsibility on a play like this because i mean i do have a seam flat on the one side but ultimately i'm gonna have to basically take away the receivers on the other side and the middle i mean there's a lot of responsibility so to me this isn't the best way to go but you can see the pressure makes it worth it as he gets right through and gets another sack so to me this is a very worthwhile blitz to use uh, you can use it from any coverage. Ultimately, though, to me, the best run defense is going to be the cover four quarters and probably the best pass defense as well. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more uh, defensive plays like this, more uh, run defenses, more plays out of this playbook, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.